Hi, Kurt Rebenshek with National Parks Traveler. Today we're at Mesa Verde National Park in southwestern Colorado. Now, throughout the year, you can drive around a lot of the top of the mesas up here and, and look at some of the cliff, cliff dwellings. But during the summer and into the early fall, the rangers lead some hikes down to some cliff dwellings that you might not normally see. Today we're going to go down to Oak Tree House, and uh, it's about a two-hour round-trip hike with a ranger. So let's go on down and see what uh, there is to see. Mesa Verde itself was crawling with people by 1100 and in the Mancos Valley down below 30 to 40,000 people and that's more than this here now. So desolate it was not. It wasn't isolated or desolate at all and actually that was probably part of the problem as we go along we'll talk more about what happened over time but over time that's probably was the downfall of what happened here was too many people using these resources that we see now for hundreds of years and by 1100 1150 around that time they were they had pretty much decimated this whole mesa top of the wood that they needed around 400 a.d we know people were here and they were migratory and they were coming and going they were hunting and gathering they were not farming and they were not staying here year round we do not see signs of homes where people stayed year round up here and then around 550, something happened that changed their lives hugely and very quickly. And that was, once again, they traded, and they traded for corn. And somebody got the idea that we were going to plant corn and be farmers here, which I'm, I'm sure that their neighbors and all had to look at them and laugh and go, <laughs> what? Because this does not look like Kansas on this, this uh, top here. But very quickly, they learned to farm here, and they were extremely successful farmers. This was originally a kiva, a ceremonial room. And once again, I can't explain kivas here because they modified this one, and it doesn't look like a kiva anymore. We'll go over there and talk about kivas a little bit. But um, anyway, they modified this at some point and made it into a mealing room. That means women were on their knees with corn and with a matate and mono. The flat rock is called a matate. That's a Spanish word, by the way not what they called it, and that you can see the little round stone that they would have done the grinding with is called a mono. Mono in Spanish means hand. So there are five mealing bins here, maybe another, a sixth one here, we're not sure how many there were. They had there. kids, and kids need toys, and they were very good potters, and somebody out of clay. Oh, man. Hmm? It's a bighorn sheep, which I told you they had here then, but I mean, things like this were found around, so they were... You know, they were entertaining their kids, and they were like us, you know, they, they had lives. They built some of this stuff out here, a lot of it. The bad part about that is all of these tons of stones, they don't know that, that I mean, they're not on a flat floor. In their mind, they're still on this, so everything is moving with gravity downhill. And the Park Service has the job of trying to keep it, you know, this way. So, so typical Mesa Verde Kiva. One thing is missing on this one, and that's the, you know, the, it would have been up about this high and there would have been a roof on it. Kivas, kivas are ceremonial rooms, basically. And then on top of that, they're like a multi-purpose family room. In the modern Puebloans today, the descendants, they use their kivas basically just for ceremony. They're weaving, beautiful weavings and tapestries, just the way that they made their homes. As you go around Mesa Verde and you see square walls were square rounded things were totally round you had to be kind of comfortable and have eaten enough to take the time to be exploring your artistic side and the side of you that wants beauty instead of just taking a bunch of these stones and rocks and putting them up and calling it home they didn't have rubble for houses they made gorgeous houses